Hello, everybody. Father Stephen Abrado of ProtestChildKilling.com. ProtestChildKilling.com. The featured link is right there. Please go to ProtestChildKilling.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Invite your family and friends to join. To subscribe to. Hit that notification button. Like my videos. Why don't you just go down the list and like all the videos, right? Comment on all the videos. Hit that notification button so you get notified when I uh, when I do all my videos. Do I sound like those influencers uh, that uh, hawk their page all the time? Uh, I guess I do because I'm getting up there. I got, what, 30 two or three hundred subscribers. Oh man, I'm cooking now, right? Hey, listen, just thank you so much for the few hundred that watch my videos every day. And once in a while, I get a couple of thousand. And once in a while, rarely, right? I mean, the Ireland video got 10,000. So it's pretty amazing, right? All right, so anyway, I'm Father Stephen Abrado, protestchildkilling.com. You can access my social media platforms. You can register. You can donate if you want. How about that? How about donating if you want? Uh, just go to protestchildkilling.com, contact donate, and you can search my name in the drop-down menu and donate if you want. Realestateforlife.org, if you're buying a home or selling a home. <laughs> What's the thumbs down for? realestateforlife.org. You can, uh, uh, if you're buying a home, selling a home, moving from a blue state to a red state, uh, from a red state to a red state, you can uh, get a realtor. They'll take part of its commission and send it to a pro-life activist of your choice. Maybe a pregnancy resource center that really needs it. Uh, And I just remembered I have Mass at Life Choices Pregnancy Center tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus, for reminding me. I'd forgotten all about it. I had to stop and pause. Like, what day is today? It's tomorrow. So that's great. Um, yeah. So anyway, Father Stephen Abrado, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. I'm going to talk about a heart attack that you can actually watch if you want. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's see if we can't find this. All right, now I'm driving in a car, it's two years ago today. Two years ago today, I'm on my way to Tallahassee for a men's march. And I got this distress. I have this discomfort in my chest, in my stomach, and I decide I'm gonna pray the rosary, okay? Uh, I knew something was wrong. At this point in time, I don't know if I was thinking heart attack, but I knew something was wrong. Uh, it was just a discomfort in my stomach and in my chest, not pain, not sharp pain. It was just a discomfort, a distress. Uh, so uh, I'm driving to Tallahassee, it's a three and a half hour drive. And at one point I decide I'm gonna pray to Rosary and see if maybe I feel better, right? At least keep my mind off of it. Hello everybody, Father Stephen Imperato. ProtestChildKilling.com, ProtestChildKilling.com, we're on the road. For Sound life. familiar? To Tallahassee, Florida, the capital of Florida, for tomorrow's rally for personhood and march to abolish abortion. So uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ are going to pray the rosary while I'm driving. So please get your rosary, share this video. Invite your family and friends to join us. We're going to pray the sorrowful mysteries of the rosary. It was a Friday. Uh, this Friday, the day before the march to abolish abortion and rally to for personhood in Tallahassee, Florida. Tallahassee. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Governor DeSantis and uh, 
his promise, his plan, the revealing of his plan to abolish abortion in Florida after he gets reelected. Most likely he may call a special session beforehand. Uh, and so uh, we're going to pray the rosary, so get your rosaries. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to start right now. We're going to offer up this rosary for all of your intentions, my intentions, for the uh, blessings on this march and rally tomorrow. For all the people we said we would pray for, including those who may forget to pray for. For all the intentions we offer up in our daily offerings at our masses. Uh, for all those who pray for us, encourage us, and support us each day. So let us begin. The resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For the uh, intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against I'm us. I'm pretty sure I'm going to start Don't rubbing my shoulder and my chest in a minute. There I go. Amen. The virtues of faith I'm rubbing my chest and, and my shoulder because I have the stress there. Blessed art thou among women and blessed there was a spot the there where if I pushed God, it and I Jesus, rubbed it, Holy Mary, I would, God, I would, hold on, let me, let me shut the auto the off. Of all right, that I, I could, I, I got relief from the, the stress. So I'm actually having a heart attack right there. It's not intense pain. It's not a sharp pain. I, I'll tell you all about it. I'll go through the whole thing. But I want to show you that actually uh, I had uh, heart pain right there, heart distress, heart discomfort. I guess that's really what we should call it, okay? So it was Friday, June 10th. As you heard me say, it was, and I'm still rubbing my shoulder there. And I left the house and I had some indigestion in the morning. I had eaten some leftover pizza the night before and actually had some ice cream. And so I woke up with some indigestion. Celebrated mass that morning as normal. Uh, I didn't have any... Tums or antacid in the house. Um, so I, I didn't think it was anything at all. Stopped to get something to eat maybe an hour before this. It only made it worse because I thought maybe if I put some food in the stomach, it would absorb the acid and everything. So anyway, I'm about maybe two hours, two and a half hours into the trip and I decided to do the rosary. After I get done with this rosary, and I'm still rubbing here, I'm, st I'm still rubbing. All right. I mean, because I, I wasn't getting sharp pains down my arm. I wasn't getting sharp pains into my chest. It was just a pressure, a discomfort, and also some discomfort in my stomach. And if I pressed here and rubbed, it would relieve the discomfort. But as soon as I let go, the discomfort would come back. So I wasn't sure whether it was indigestion or what. But I also knew my brother's a doctor. And I also knew, because I, I read up on this type of stuff all the time. Now, I'm 72 years old. I was 70 then, all right? Um, that people have thought they've had heart attacks, and they go to the hospital, and they find out it's just heartburn, indigestion, right? Uh, may, maybe an attic hernia, right? Um, other times, I've had people who thought, I've read about people who thought they were having indigestion, and they were having a heart attack. So I'm thinking of this. So I get done with the rosary. I go to a rest area. I go inside. I get some water. I try to go to the bathroom thinking maybe it'll relieve some of the gas, the discomfort. None of that. I get back in the car, start driving again about 45 minutes from Tallahassee at that point in time. I'm still rubbing. I'm still rubbing here. The entire time I'm praying the rosary. All right, so we're getting done with the first decade of the rosary. I can see my hand holding the rosary, and I'm rubbing. All right, now, you can't see any distress in my face or in my voice at all. I'm just rubbing. And I don't even remember whether I told people about it uh, during the prayer of the rosary. Uh, 
But anyway, so um, I'm going through this and I call my brother, the doctor, and uh, I leave a message for him because he doesn't answer the phone. I told him, I said, look at bro, I got something going on in my chest. I don't know what it is. I want to talk to you about it. All right, and I get off the phone with him. And then I called my friend Larry. And Larry was supposed to meet me at the hotel in Tallahassee. We we're going to check in. This was probably about 11 o'clock, 11, 11.30. We we're going to check in early, see if we could check in early. And I called up Larry and I said, look, meet me at the hotel, but I'm not checking in. You're going to bring me to the hospital right away. I want to go to the hospital. I think there's something wrong. Um, so I met him at the hospital and... Uh, I mean, I met him at the parking lot of the hotel and we Googled the closest hospital and then he takes me there. And I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. When we come back, we're going to do my opening prayers. We're going to invoke St. Michael, the archangel, right? And then also consecrate ourselves to the Blessed Virgin Mary and uh, thank uh, the Blessed Mother. Thank Jesus, Mary and Joseph for protecting me two years ago today when I had a heart attack going to the Men's March in Tallahassee, June 10th, 1970, 1970, 2022, 2022. So let's pray together. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's consecrate ourselves to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, for banished children of Eve. To thee we send up our sighs. Mourning and weeping this valley of tears, turn them, most gracious advocate, his eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promise of Christ. Let us pray. O God, his only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, is it's purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, while meditating on these mysteries, Remember, O most blessed Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come before you, we stand sinful and sorrowful, O Mother, the Word incarnate. Despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer us. Amen. St. Joseph, intercede for us. St. Joseph, my patron saint, was born on the Feast of St. Joseph, March 19th, 1952. That's why I had that, 1952, March 19th. All right, very good. All right, so let me continue the story. So exactly two years ago, so it's, it's 20 to 11 now. Probably that video was taken about that time. Probably two years ago, exactly two years ago today, I'm praying the rosary, 10.30, 11 o'clock, on my way to Tallahassee, and you can see I'm rubbing my shoulder, rubbing my chest, because I have discomfort, not pain. There's no pain. So people say, well, Father, you have that pain. Look, it, uh, uh, again, I had no, I, I wasn't short of breath. I wasn't really, really tired. I didn't have any sharp pain. It was nothing going down my arm. I had discomfort. That's what I had, okay? So I pray to Rosary, call my brother, leave a message for him, call my friend Larry. He meets me in the parking lot of the hotel, and he brings me to the hospital. Hospital's only a few minutes away. So we get to the hospital. It's probably 1130, Friday, June 10th, 2022. I go walking into the hospital, big hospital, huge hospital, Tallahassee Memorial Medical Center, right? 
the opera, the, the, the waiting room for the emergency room is huge. It's, it's huge. Now, it's still kind of like in COVID mode, right? And as much as the, the waiting room is huge and the chairs are nowhere near the check-in desk and the waiting room is empty, there is not one person in the waiting room. I walked in and said, thank you, Jesus. I go walking up to the desk and, and she goes, yes, can I help you? I said, well, I'm having some chest discomfort. Now I'm lefty, okay? I'm having some chest discomfort. She goes, okay, fill this out. She gives me a clipboard with a piece of paper. The nearest chair was quite a walk from the check-in desk. So I go and I sit down in the chair and I fill out the one sheet of paper. Now I must say that I filled it out very sloppily because I was having this discomfort and I was having trouble writing. Again, no sharp pain. So I, and, and my friend Larry had not come in yet. He was parking the car. He just dropped me off. I went in, okay? I go back up to the desk and I hand her the clipboard. I go back and I, she goes, all right, have a seat. I go back and I sit down. As soon as I sit down, I hear Mr. Imbarato, Mr. Imbarato. And I get up and I, and I go uh, to, I don't remember. I don't think I was dressed as a priest. I don't think I was dressed in my clerics, all right? Uh, I go back up to the to the desk. And she goes, I can't read any of this. So I said, well, I'm, I'm having chest discomfort, you know. She goes, all right, well, tell me, and I dictate it to her, right? So I dictate it to her. She fills it all out, right, so she can read it, all right? She goes, all right, have a seat. I go and sit down. I'm not... I'm not even in the, in the, my fanny's not even in the seat a second. Mr. Imbrato, Mr. Imbrato. I go walking back up. I feel like a, it's like musical chairs, right? And so I go back up to the desk. And there's another guy there. And he says, we have an EK machine, uh, EKG machine right inside the door here. We're going to give you an EKG. So I said, okay, fine. So he brings me around and we go right inside the door. I'm telling you, the EKG machine inside the door was a lot closer than my seat was in this huge waiting room that was completely empty, okay? So I'm sitting there. They hooked me up, all right, to take the EKG, all right? And I'm watching the machine, and I don't know how to read an EKG. EKG I don't know if you do, right? But it was kind of like, you know. So he says, as a matter of factly, as a man, he doesn't even look up, doesn't look at me. He says, oh, yeah, you're having a heart attack. Just like that. Oh, yeah, you're having a heart attack. Right? Now, I mean, he was so calm about it. I wasn't going to get upset over it, right? Uh, but at that point in time, I don't know if he hit a button or a buzzer or whatever. But a couple of nurses appeared with a wheelchair. They put me right in the wheelchair, all right? And they bring me down to a room and they strip me down and uh, 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 they, they put me on a gurney. And uh, I'm telling you that within 10 minutes, 10 minutes of that EKG, 10 minutes, I was in the cath lab. I'm in the cath lab. Not only am I in the cath lab, I'm not waiting in the cath lab. I'm in the cath lab and there's a team. There's a, a, a cardiologist, cardiologist, and a team. Okay. And they're ready to go. And I'm telling you, I wasn't in the cath lab probably two or three minutes and I'm out. I'm out. Next thing I know. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm waking up in an ICU room. All right, so I'm in ICU. So I probably got to the hospital about 11.30, probably 11.45. They did the EKG. Uh, 12 o'clock, I'm in the cath lab. Two o'clock, I wake up in ICU. All right. And in pain, I got pain. Now I got pain. All right, now I got pain. Okay. Uh, and... So I'm in ICU, right? And I realized, well, I'm not doing anything for the weekend. The march the next day, the rally the next day. I'm not going, right? I'm, I'm in the hospital. I'm in ICU. I was able to tell uh, 
Uh, Larry was obviously, I was able to tell Larry before I went into the EKG, so he knew. And then I texted uh, Jim Havens, and you know, I said, I need prayers, I need prayers. As a matter of fact, that was the, uh, the uh, one of the memories. Please pray for Father Stephen Abrado is having some heart issues. Thank you. See, he posted that. Doesn't say what time. Turned out they actually found my heart and fixed it physically, still working on spiritual growth. That's what I wrote this morning, right? So anyway, believe it or not, Sunday morning before noontime, I'd say about 11 o'clock. So you're talking about exactly two days after the EKG. I was released from the hospital, no restrictions. They were going to let me drive home if I wanted. No food restrictions, no dietary restrictions. The doctor came in on Saturday. Yep, the doctor came in on Saturday morning. I had my brother on the phone. He talked to the doctor. The doctor says, we put four stints in your one artery. I don't know which artery it was. Four stints, one artery, 100% blockage. Another artery had some blockage. The rest of the arteries were fine. Right? But we only one stint. And he says, you were very lucky. You were very lucky. If you didn't come to the hospital, then who knows what would have happened. So I was lucky. Right? Lucky. Uh, blast. Protected. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph protect us. I celebrated Mass in my room Sunday morning. For about 10 people came, visited me celebrated Mass for them in my room on Sunday morning. It was released Sunday morning, right after Mass. And Larry drove me home back to, uh, back to uh, my home here in, uh, in, in uh, near Ormond Beach in Florida. And, uh, and that's it, 48 hour minor heart attack, I guess you could call it. I used to smoke cigars. I don't, haven't had a cigar since the day before that, Thursday, since the day before that. Drink? I, I wasn't a drinker before. I'm not a drinker then. Diet? I'm watching my diet before. I'm watching my diet now. I've lost, since then, at least 10 pounds. At least 10 pounds. I was probably in the 180s, definitely 185, maybe 190 then. I'm uh, 174 now. So I was lucky. I was blessed. I was protected. But again, you can go to my uh, platform. Matter of fact, you can go to June 10th. Go to my YouTube channel. I think if you go to my YouTube channel, June 10th, 2022, let's see if that comes up. Father Imbarato, June 10th, 2022, the Catholic Mass that morning. I had the Catholic Mass, maybe June 11th. Here we go. Let's do this. 10th. Rosary, because so I'd like to post this again. So 
So that's funny. So let's see what Jim had to say that day. skin tends to lose moisture. I think we pre-taped. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. No. So here we are in Advent. What are we doing? The fullness of truth with clarity here we and go. charity. Heard around the world on your Android and Apple mobile devices. Wrong year. Pro-Life Friday with Father Imbrato, June 10th. Proclaiming the fullness of truth with clarity and charity. Heard around the world on your Android and Apple mobile devices. The Simple Truth. Rising up to explore the difficult topics of real life. Join us. Be with, we stay with me. Stay with me. The true and the beautiful with the simple truth of Jesus Christ and his holy Catholic. Pro Life Friday with Father Imbarato one year ago, June 10, 2022. I don't get that at all. Proclaiming the fullness of truth with clarity and charity. Heard around the world on your... ...natural resources to raise a child that the children you bring into the world... ...uses to come to conversion... Um, and that is where his depravity lies. But anyway, all that being said, insane, depraved, uh, I think insane is more of a, a medical sci psychiatric diagnosis. Depravity is really more of a better description of his soul, right? That he's depraved of the state of grace. It's been... Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to waste any more time. For you. Uh, Can't skin. waste your time here. I apologize for that. Uh, I really do want to. Yeah, I can't find it. Okay. All right. So anyway, I apologize. I apologize, guys. So that was my heart attack episode, right? How blessed I was. Blessed to have a brother as a doctor. Blessed to have all of you. Because one of the first things I did was able to tell Jim Havens, and he put it out, and thousands of people were praying for me. I know thousands of people were praying for me. I missed the march. I missed the rally, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. I was able to pray during the march, during the rally on Saturday. Sunday, I was on my way home, and of course, I am much healthier now. As my brother said, my brother the doctor said, you know, on that Saturday morning, you're healthier now than you were yesterday because of that one stint. Since then, I've been religiously going to the cardiologist. I've been exercising every day, getting my cardio in, uh, watching my diet. Uh, the EKGs are better. Uh, my overall health is better. So praise be Jesus Christ now and forever. I mean, just, but that was an amazing experience. Two years ago today, right around this time, uh, on my way to Tallahassee, experienced a heart attack. I wanted to share it with all of you guys. All right. Very good. There's another topic I really would like to discuss today, and it just it makes me so angry. So it's interesting that eight years ago, eight years ago, in 2016, I was in Tanzania. 
at a mass actually in the cathedral, a two and a half hour mass in the cathedral in Moshi, Tanzania. How about that? I also, today, in 2019, five years ago, I was in, in uh, Ireland. So June, interesting month, June 10th, interesting month, right? Uh, 2016, I'm in Tanzania. Uh, 2019, I'm in uh, Ireland, right? Uh, two years ago, I'm in, in the hospital having a heart attack, and now... I am here getting ready to to go on the road for life. All right, so I will be with you tomorrow. I will be with you tomorrow. We're going to do Mass. We did Mass this morning. Check out my Mass, my homily, Eucharist Adoration. We'll do it again tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we'll do Mass. And then we're going to do Rosary on the road while I'm driving. There will be no Mass on Thursday or Friday. I will have the simple truth on on Friday. I will do the rosary on Thursday and Friday uh, while I'm driving. And uh, then on Saturday, I'm giving a talk. So our, my mass and my talk will be in Clovis, New Mexico. <coughs> Clovis, New Mexico. Same thing with Sunday. Uh, I'll do a mass and a homily. And then also I will uh, be uh, doing a live on a Sunday morning. Then next week, next week, probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, maybe even Friday, that entire week, we'll pray the rosary every day, but there's probably not going to be any live stream mass because I'm going to be traveling. After I leave New Mexico, I'm going to be traveling to Michigan up into the Upper Peninsula, up into Canada, driving down to the Canadian Falls, the Canadian side of the Niagara Falls, and then I'll be driving to Rochester. So this is an exciting trip. I've never been to the Canadian Falls. I've never been to the Upper Peninsula. So I'm very excited. It'll be on the road for life, of course, because I'm doing a pro-life event the day before, next Saturday, it's coming Saturday, it's coming Saturday, the day before Father's Day in New Mexico. And then the Men's March to Abolish Abortion Rally for Personhood. The following Sunday, June 22nd in Rochester, you can go to themensmarch.com, themensmarch.com for updates in regards to that. Realestateforlife.org, realestateforlife.org, I'm sorry. Yeah, realestateforlife.org, realestateforlife.org. If you're buying a home, selling a home, go to realestateforlife.org and they will donate part of their commission to a pro-life activist, activist of your choice, a pregnancy resource center, whoever you choose. Our Lady of America.com, Our Lady of America.com, the approved USCCB, Private Devotion, Our Lady of America. Check it out, uh, USCCB, Private Devotion. You see the statue over my shoulder. You saw the diary, the image. You see the image in my chapel, OurLadyOfAmerica.com. Check it out. Let's pray a Hail Mary for all those who are suffering physical and spiritual trials and tribulations. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. That's for people who suffer from cancer, heart disease, strokes, diabetes, suicidal ideation, clinical depression. All right, let's pray for the Pope, bishop, uh, bishops, and priests. Father in heaven, we thank you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who through his death and resurrection has given us the hope of eternal happiness with you, Father. Send your Holy Spirit upon the Pope, all bishops and all priests, that they may be for us bold witnesses of faith and love for the church and remain for us examples of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. Joseph, St. Stephen, intercede for the Pope, all bishops and all priests, especially in our hour of need. Our Lady Guadalupe, intercede for the conversion of the world, the end to abortion. Amen. All right.
My brothers and sisters of Christ, daily offering, offer up your entire day to Jesus, work time, prayer time, family time, recreational time, and ask him to shed his mercy down upon all of your personal intentions, family intentions, health intentions, ministerial intentions, the intentions of all those we said we'd, we'd pray for, but we may forget to pray for, for the intentions of those who pray for us, encourage us, support us each day, right? That's your daily offering. That's how you turn your day into a prayer. Pray without ceasing. Pray ceaselessly, right? Daily offering. Then, of course, an examination of conscience and act of contrition every single night. Those are the bookends of the day. And, of course, the goal of every Catholic should be that at some point in time in their life, for the rest of their lives, they go to Mass every day and receive Jesus every day. Hey, I want to thank all of you for joining us. I want to thank those who... Uh, uh, joined us because of Armor of God, Spiritual Warfare, Clive's page. I really appreciate it. A uh, great show on Saturday answering the five questions he gave me. Uh, we'll be doing it again real, real soon. I love you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Go to my YouTube channel. You can access it there. Check out my ministries. Check out my pro-life upcoming and pro-life events. Uh, check out uh, all of my campaigns, everything, my YouTube channel, all my social media platforms. Please check out the Mass, my homily Eucharistic adoration this morning. Please share this video, one share per group, one share per page. Invite your family and friends to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. But most of all, my friends, go out into the world today, my friends, and give them heaven.